too, man. Hey, what's going on YouTube? So, today we're gonna upgrade the CRX just a little bit. I got some stuff right here, check it out. Got a couple LED headlights for the low beam and a few other smaller LEDs in there for like marker lights and a couple of interior lights. Um, all the lights on the car, they're all stock. Um, matter of fact, the two front marker lights don't work. Um, and I'm only doing a few things here and there like I want to Save this the blinkers for another day because I gotta you know install a resistor and all that I don't I don't really feel like doing that just yet, especially since they still work technically But yeah, just a few things uh, Just to spruce up the car a little bit. So let's go outside and check out uh, check out the car okay, First and foremost, here's the trunk light as you can see it's just the yellow halogen. So Let's turn that off, and I believe I got some screwdrivers out here. I believe all you need to do is just pry it off, I guess. There you go. Push one side, take that out. I got these uh, bulbs from Super Bright LEDs. Um, I've gotten a lot of LED bulbs from them over the years, so I have no qualms with their products. There you go. So I forgot to mention when I choose, chose these LEDs, I didn't choose any like the cool colors or anything. I chose the most neutral white colors possible. But as you can see, it is a lot brighter than what it used to be. So I guess we just slap this baby back on. Okay, there we go. There we go. Oh yeah, that's a lot brighter. All right, there you go. That's light number one, the trunk. All right, and here's the dome light. It's on the door, so we're gonna turn that off. From what I can tell, there is a slot on this side and this side to put like a screwdriver or something. Uh, let me just do that real quick. Oh yeah, there we go. Now we just slap this baby back on. I love how simple these older cars are. I'm gonna unscrew anything or whatever. There we go. Okay. Small but nice upgrade. All right, so the next bulb I'm gonna ch change out is back here in the back again. It's for the reverse lights. These right here, back here, there are plastic panels here, just pop them off. They look like this and they just kind of like go in there. Ah, oh, man, I love how easy these old cars are because just having to get back here is just so simple. First off, let me throw in some footage of how bright or not so bright the OEM bulbs are. Actually just looked at the footage just now and it looks like these aren't turning on, so... I'm gonna change the bulb anyways, and if it doesn't still doesn't work, then that means there's a wire issue or maybe a reverse switch issue. I don't I don't know. Let's just hope it works after I install these bulbs. Hold on, let's do this real quick. Wait a minute, this doesn't even have a bulb. Damn. <laughs> Here's the new bulb. Should be pretty bright. Push it in, twist. Simple as that. Line up the tabs with the holes, twist, and let's do the other side. There you go. Yeah, this doesn't have a bulb either. Okay. All right. There we go. All right, now let's see if they work. Well, 
I just looked at the footage on that one and on the bright side the bulbs work they are bright but on the flip side <laughs> it seems that these reverse lights just stay on all the time for some reason from what I can tell as long as the engine is running this lights will stay on um, whether it's in reverse or not so I could kind of see why that there was no bulbs in here in the first place I'm gonna take out these bulbs for now just because I don't want it to, you know that, that that's I'd rather they be completely off than always on you know so on to the next light all right the next few lights I got these four of them actually because it's got four marker lights one here one on the other side and then two in the front the two in the front don't turn on so hopefully that's just a bulb issue these do turn on with the lights so those should be good and they should be pretty easy to get to also since you just gotta just pull that right here's for the blinker and i believe this right here right there that's for the marker light yep this thing is hard hard to grip i'll be right back all right guys so i had to use these small needle nose to pull them out because it was really tight in there i mean i didn't really care if i damaged this bulb because you know it's, it's old and stuff so just throw in this other one in here right here make sure both of the clips clip back on let me just see if this turns on all right it turns on this is how they look with the uh, OEM bulb not as bright not nearly as bright I don't know if you could really tell really <laughs> on video especially in broad daylight but you know let's go ahead and uh, do this side now all right there it goes this side's working now when I plugged this in the first time it didn't work and then I switched the you know turned the bulb around and it worked so I think the only way to change the bulbs on these is if you take out the actual headlight or the tail or marker light housing uh, might need to take the bumper off maybe I know there's a screw right here on both sides I don't know if I'll have to take off the bumper but uh let's see I undid the screws here on the bumper right over here but there's like two of them right here but you don't need to do that so I'd unscrew that and you really just had to yank on it to get it out what is this huh okay to what man I just keep finding new and new things about this car <laughs> There you go guys, it's on. Um, it's really simple actually. Like I've been saying this whole time, it's these cars are so simple to work on and take apart. Uh, simple screw there, yank it out. It's just, just a couple of plastic clips on the housing itself that go into a few spots. That's about it. But as you can see, that's on and this one's off. So bulbs are definitely done. Alright, that marker light's successful. I'm gonna turn these lights off so I can cool down a little bit and do the headlights. Alright, here are the new low beams. T500K five, color temp. Okay, yeah, 4000 lumens. Yeah. We're gonna change this. This is the passenger side. Alright, so you just undo this pigtail right here. It's just a tab that you press and then just push down basically and then these bulb housings are locked in by this ring that you have to turn this way and then this should come out yep these are still good I could save them just make sure you line up the little tabs or whatever yeah it fits in like that and you kind of just close this there you go Ah, damn it, I didn't do it right. Hold on. Let me put this down. All right, so it does go up and down like this, at least for this car. Uh, you kind of have to put hold this bulb down while you're twisting this closed. Negative, positive, and I just kind of plugged it all the way in, and there you go. So much more brighter, so much more cleaner looking than this 
yellow halogen crap. You already know how to do it because of this. Just do the same thing on this side. Let me finish that up and we'll see how it looks. There you go. Much better. Well, much better looking, but also much better functionally. Original halogen bulbs. They weren't worth anything out on when, it was, when, it, when I drive out here and it's dark. So, yeah. I mean, one of these days I'm gonna get blinkers and brake lights too. Just, I, I think I gotta fix that reverse light issue. This is supposed to turn on too, right? I gotta find LED bulbs for those, I guess, too. I do want to get clears for this, for these blinkers, clear lenses. I didn't get the high beams because I don't, it's not really necessary. They'll be fine. I'll probably get some of those later on if I have the money to spare. Anyways, yeah, guys, so that's it for today's video. Just a little bit of a lighting upgrade for the CRX. Just modernizing the car just a little bit and also fixing, really, a few things that, are, that were wrong with it. Uh, minus the reverse lights, of course. Thank you all for stopping by. You know, comment, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, like the video, please. All that good YouTube stuff. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.